trouble. <laughs> when in Rome and all that. <laughs> I am so childish. <laughs> Hi guys, I am Wizarding World YouTuber Victoria McLean and welcome back to my channel. As you can see that I am in a different location today. I am at Janice's house inside the Gryffindor common room, which is in fact my bedroom. <laughs> So when I'm staying with Janice, this is where I stay. Uh, only recently though, but how beautiful is this tapestry behind? She's got some most beautiful kind of cushions behind me and everything. This room is just full of magic, as you've seen from this video that I took a few years ago of Janice's whole collection. It's slightly changed since then. It's mental. So Janice today has asked me kindly if I will do an unboxing of something she came across on eBay a while ago and I had never seen them before. So we're going back to Victoria's Vintage and uh, we're going to have one episode show you what these are. It's a very quick episode um, because it's getting really late here. And um, we've been in York all day filming at the shop that must not be named. So Janice has very kindly allowed me to use her uh, heroic magic caster wand. Let's see if I can get it to cast a spell. Yay! I cast a spell. Let's try and do it. Turn it off now. Yay! I managed to turn it off. Woohoo! <laughs> Oh my god, I think it's best I put it back before I break it. Oh, I cast another one, look. <laughs> I'll put it back before I break it, but this one just wants to keep casting spells. So Janice has actually got a new puppy called Teddy, after Teddy from the Fantastic Beast series, which of, of course was the gorgeous little Niffler, and the one that was full of mischief. So she has got a phantom poodle called Teddy, and oh my God, am I in love. He's only 15 weeks old, and since being here, all I've wanted is to have cuddles. He's not allowed in this room normally because he's only a little puppy and he is chew, chew, chew. But because of the video, she's allowing him to have a little cutch. So, oh, he looks so excited to have a little cutch with Auntie Vix. Hey, your baby. This is Teddy. I've told Janice that she's got to um, check to see if he's still in the house when I leave. <laughs> mm. You're not mm. having me, I've told you. But I want to because he's so He's he not loves... going in her suitcase, put it that way. <laughs> he loves Auntie Vix's kisses, don't you? Do you love Auntie Vix's kisses? He's a bit... She's just woke him up. <laughs> he was fast asleep. <laughs> but I want to keep him. Well, you can stay, you can stay, it's okay. But I want to No, you can't have my necklace. Oh, it's so cute, I want to keep him forever. But no, I'm not allowed him. Okay, so... The items that I'm going to show you today are vintage. These are dated, I think they're around 2001, possibly 2000, let me double check. This is dated spring or summer of 2001. Now these are Harry Potter dolls. So this is Harry Potter and I'd never heard of them before until Janice, I came over to stay with Janice a little while ago and she had managed to get hold of Harry and Ron but struggled to find Hermione. I'd never seen it and I don't like dolls at all. I'm not a doll fan, but there was something about these dolls that I really, really love. Now these are by Gotz, G-O-T-Z. Again, never heard of them. You guys might have, and if you have, please let me know in the comments below. This is a, the very, very vintage Harry Potter style. So this is this is this is kind of almost like the the clarification you need without looking at the date that it's 2000 to 2001 when you've got the red brick, which is very much their first lot of merchandise that came out around the Harry Potter franchise. And this this is Harry, and he comes with a broom. They are no, this is Ron. Right, this is Ron. Hand. This is Janice. She's fired. It's uh, it's her fault. She no, no, we'll do it. Ron first. It's Ron. all right. We've got it now. This is Ron, right? Janice got it wrong. She's fired. Uh, so this is Ron, Ronald Weasley, and he comes with a scabbers, which is inside this box. Now they're a little bit odd. 
they're very much based on the books rather than the film version of Harry because obviously Harry Potter was being created in September of 2001 so this is around the books Harry Potter the film didn't come out until the 16th of November 2001 which is actually Adam's birthday but I do love the very cartoon like of the faces I'll do some close-up videos as well so you can see I don't want to take him out because I think they really need to stay in their boxes this is something that if you have please keep it as best as you can as it is because it's going to keep the value going these can I think I mean I haven't done my kind of research from what Janice has told me and the fact that she struggled to find stuff these can range between 100 and 200 pound depending on the way they are preserved the fact that they've still got all their packaging on now I don't know if you can see that but again I will do close-ups Ron still has the net around his entire face which is so bizarre uh, but it's to keep his hair in place but he's still got the netting on his face he's still got the ribbon attached around his little waist but I love the detail of the little um the buckles like on the robes with the little buttons and the little chain going around there that's so beautiful and they are like little brass buttons and then as you go down you've got the robe beautifully created and then you have the I'm sure these are second hand from either Fred or George. These little trainers, so it just looks sparkly in this, but obviously in reality they were probably would have been handed down second hand. But I love like all the star detail on his costume. It's really, really beautiful. Now, Ron is very cartoony, I've noticed in this the three the trio from the books looks more cartoony his face is quite long his nose is incredibly pointy and he has got a few hints of some freckles on his nose which is so cute very teenager you know coming up to his prime of being a little bugger in school and driving McGonagall mad um so there is his little detail there with his bow the hands are so beautifully done with all these little creases on his fingers the knuckles and then of course you've got the important labels still brand new and intact all perfectly and preserved it's limited edition. and he's limited edition yeah. what is the limit if you turn over they've got all got a number okay so i'm very gently turning over because these were bought from the same person it's yeah. a chance that they're all the same number so this this is where i need those plumbing glasses um this is yeah they've all got a number on them which and they're all jointed as well what number? Where's the number? Oh, right. This is yeah. 358. But I can't see. Can you see what the number, what um, out of? That? This says handmade in Germany. Well, it is a it numbered well. edition, easy care. So we're not 100% sure how many of these no, have actually been produced. Be out of it could be, I mean, the normal number was around 2,000 or yeah. 5,000 for a limited yeah. edition. But then I've never seen these before until you showed me them. So I can't see them I being didn't that know many. When I was buying when I bought it. Yeah, you thought they were only going to be small, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, because I was only tiny when it did, was delivered. I thought, oh my God, it's big. You've got to see Scabbers. He's absolutely stunning, Scabbers trying to like hold the box without him like moving too much he's again very cartoony with his stars and stuff so that's scas scasbers oh my god you can tell we've been up all night all morning and all evening that's scabsbers um he's been given a new name <laughs> with all these little stars on them so again he's very much cartoony if you look at the arthur price um hogwarts chalice you can actually see scabbers and he's got little stars all over him so it's kind of like a it was definitely a car, um, a book kind of style that was given to Scabbers before the films were created. So he is really cute, but obviously we know now, don't we, that he's a, unfortunately, Peter Pettigrew. But if you notice on his little paw there, he looks like he's got a little paw, a little toe missing. So uh, I'll put it, give him back to you to wrap up and put him in the in the little bubble wrap. So that's Ron. But we actually have the entire three, uh, the, the the trio to show you. So I'm going to wrap him back up now, and we're going to get into Harry next. I'm going to leave Hermione last. Right. So this is Harry Potter. So he should come with a broom. So we'll have a look. So there he is, Harry Potter by Gotts the German doll company and again he's a, a very much kind of cartoony very much based on the books no freckles on this however I wonder if he's got a little scar yeah he's got his little scar 
just there, which is strange because instead of seeing the normal one that we see from Harry, which goes like that and down, his goes across. So it's, um, I wonder if it's kind of the way it was portrayed in the books. I can't remember. His little tag is come and done. So I'm going to just do that up again because I think he looks so cute like that. He's got a lovely little grey and red striped shirt underneath his, uh, his Hogwarts robes and just here are a pair of his glasses and they even have the tape on obviously before he met Hermione or where, as he was meeting Hermione, Oculus Repero and they were back to being as good as new. But he has his broom which is very much safe behind him so I'm not pulling it out but it's very much safe behind him and it's absolutely perfect still in its packaging as well so that's really really lovely and as we've seen we've got a little uh, GOTS wristband here on Harry, Ron and Hermione um, to show that they are genuine GOTS dolls so again between £100-£200 pound I'd value these at in mint condition in their boxes if they weren't in their boxes i would say anything from between 75 to 100 pound each but this is me guessing i've come across these never seen them before until i was introduced to them by janice so it is kind of something that i'm learning about as well and down here we've got some gorgeous little kind of trainers down here little black almost like loafers with laces i'm not quite sure what you'd call them but uh, they would have been muggle made or they would have been Dudley's old shoes. So he's got a lovely pair of jeans on that probably in reality were like 10 times too big for him or shrunk by Aunt Petunia and died in smelly dye. But that's Harry. He's looking quite cute, isn't he, with his lovely eyes like his mum. But I'm going to give him back to Janice now and then we're going to look at Hermione. Oh yeah, this one actually has come undone. So I'm just going to pop it round down like this instead. So it's just come un, the glue's come unstuck. There's nothing bad about the packaging at all. And this is the beautiful, almost like, I wanna say kind of like Thunderbirds. The kind of, du, 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 you know, that sort of thing with the arms and everything. She's very kind of Thunderbird-ish with the big kind of angels, Charlie's angels hairdo. And cause obviously in the books, Hermione's hair was incredibly frizzy. And as she got older, she learned to use, is it Sleek Easy? Mm. She used in the books to make her hair kind of calm down for the Yule Ball. And then she became a lady, um, we hope. But uh, we've got some gorgeous items. Underneath, she's got, let me see the, the stitching as well here. She's got a neck brace on her. That's not because she's been in a muggle car, but, um, you know, done some damage. But she's got a little neck brace on to keep her, I, I assume it was probably to keep her hair all kind of secure but it looks like the netting is starting to kind of come undone. So someone's obviously maybe pulled it out at some point, but it doesn't look like she's actually been removed from the box. It just means that the netting's been loose. Maybe it's because they wanted to see her hair or something, I don't know, but when you would have bought that new or untouched, the netting would have kept all the hair in place and the neck brace would have kind of maybe have been on all of them. I'm not quite sure. But you got a little kind of gots label there around the arm as well and again this would have been limited edition as well this is only 344 again less than a thousand so i'm thinking maybe a thousand dolls maybe not more than a thousand we'll have to look it up and put a link the little pink underneath as well i love that she's got a little pink top on and a gorgeous harry potter robes Maybe she has the Harry Potter robes because she's not been put in Gryffindor yet. And these, each one of them comes with like a little kind of accessory, if you like. And these are Hermione's. It's a gorgeous stack of books that can, she can actually hold if you pose her. Same with Scabbers and a broom. Harry comes with um, the broom and uh, Ron comes with Scabbers. And then you've got obviously the really beautiful books that she could hold. But they are quite weighty, aren't they? Yeah, the, the dolls are heavy as well. They Well, yeah, that's the thing. They are really heavy, which is quite... You don't expect that with dolls no. at all. But they're saying that your creepy baby looking Dobby is really heavy as well. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I love her little loafers at the back. She's got like little she's got her shoes here at the bottom. Sparkly clean, of course. And even if they were secondhand, she still would have them sparkling clean because she's Hermione. 
again beautiful pair of robes each robe has actually got the harry potter like label on it as well which you would have find on teddy found on teddies and so on back in the ages of 2000 and 2001 so that's really lovely that she's got that. I think these are beautiful. I'm not a doll lover and as Janice knows, I did really like these when I saw them. And I kept taking photographs of them and Janice was like, no, please don't put any pictures up until I get at least get Hermione. And you managed to get all three of them for what was it, 300 and... 360 for all three and they are mint. Even more mint than the ones that you have before, aren't yeah. they? They're in brilliant condition other than the box with the glue coming down, but it's easily fixed. I had to buy the three. <coughs> they wouldn't split them <laughs> to be fair i'd be the same yeah i have to get her mine to get the full set collections shouldn't be split up, but you won't sell the other dolls to me that she's no. got <laughs> i don't play she won't get do you know what she's got a glass an hourglass look on hourglass upstairs right smashed it ages ago she's still keeping it because it's literally can't throw anything away so i just think she's so strange and then she's wondering why she's running out of room <laughs> So yeah, so these dolls are really, really beautiful. I'm so impressed with them. I love her hair. She does look a little bit weird. Hermione has got more of a cartoon look about her and this is very much like they've taken an old doll from another shop and they've just created Hermione. But I still really like her. My favorite out of the three of them is Ron. Ron's face is, is more kind of, you can see Ron's face in almost, it's the same style, same drawing, same um, design in every single set of 2000 and 2001 merchandise. And I love that. However, Harry and Hermione seem to change, but Ron seems to stay consistent. And I do like that about Ron. He is a gorgeous little boy, love him. But these are really beautiful. The way they've created these robes, you can almost put that on a little premature baby, you know. Don't get any ideas, you've got a baby coming. <laughs> but the detail on these is stunning. I'm really impressed with them. And you know me, I don't do dolls on my channel, but I really do love these. So, uh, yeah, you've got all the details behind as well of all the dolls that you can get in the series. And I, honestly, if you see these on eBay for a really good price, if you're a doll person, I'd get them. Just remember, they are really big compared to what you probably think in the photos. So I'm going to hand that back to Janice so she can do a, a put everything back together again. Thank you very much. There's also, is that scabbers there? So excuse the kind of disheveled look of me. I'm really tired. But this has been really lovely. I'm so excited to get these dolls in front of the camera and show you guys, because she said, I want you to do an, <laughs> an unboxing. Well, knowing Janice, it's like, what the hell is she going to ask me to unbox on my channel? You know, probably something to do with Dobby. It wasn't. It was something to do with Harry, Ron and Hermione. So it was okay. Honestly, right? Look at Dobby's. I mean, I can't get away from him. He's staring at me from every angle in my bedroom. <laughs> now, don't be scared. This freaking doll. She's going to show me how to hold a baby now. What the hell? There's not another one in the world like him as far as I know. That's because they burn them all. <laughs> <laughs> this thing weighs a bloody ton. And he was so expensive. He's been created by a doll maker, isn't he? Yeah. No? Yeah. Yeah. He's been created by a doll maker. He is so heavy and he's meant to kind of seem real. Okay, so he's... He, and let me tell you, he feels like you're holding a very cold baby because his skin's very cold. She keeps saying he's cold. He's cold. He is cold. She, oh, my God, his head! She she wants to try he's and warm him up. very much based on the baby reborn dolls so it's supposed to be feel like a real baby she hates him she <laughs> I hates don't like, him. i'd rather have teddy hates he tries him. to eat my hair but i still want him so yeah she, she hates him but i had to have him <laughs> why am i doing this <laughs> That's it. it's automatically you kind of want to rock him <laughs> rock bye baby <laughs> on the tree no. <laughs> I love you really, Dobby. His eyes are so, like, expressive. Everyone's looking at it saying, oh, my God, what the hell is that? He wants you to feel sorry for him. I do feel sorry he for him. He needs to you. be looked after. <laughs> got to hold his head. Oh, my God. It's like having a newborn bloody baby again. <laughs> Look at him. He's just all... <laughs> Squishy. He's, he's just sheep, sheep. I'm surprised she doesn't come in and put a blanket on him at night. It's pretty cool, to be fair, to have the only one. 
Yep. It is really cool. I mean, I'm. If I had a creature like that, I don't know how I'd feel. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> it can't be. <laughs> oh my god! I will show you something out of my my box today because it's staring at me. Right, look. She looks awesome in that hat. It's something you had to have. It's something I had to have from the shop that must not be named. That's where we've been today. The shop, I've had a full shop tour because they closed the shop for me to do a full shop tour. Um, I got a, they got two bags full of merchandise to show you and um, I can't wait to show you all. So I've had an incredibly scary time with these dolls, Dobby. Um, and I will, uh, I will let you get back to your lives. <laughs> Until next time, bleh. until next time, take care. I love you all. And I'll speak to you very, very soon. Bye bye. my content take a look at this video right here or this video right here don't forget to like and subscribe